in the words of our great friend Chickster, Messi! Argentina win the 2022 World Cup on penalties against France and really it ended up being the Lionel Messi versus Kylian Mbappe show. Oh man, what a match. This might have been the greatest sporting event I think I've ever watched on TV. Pure madness. Um, Argentina, we'll start there. Messi gets a penalty, goes up 1-0. Uh, Angel Di Maria, who will be playing in likely his last World Cup as well, get, puts Argentina up 2-0 in the first half. And at that point, it's like, oh man, this one might be over early. Welcome Kylian Mbappe. France had no shots in the first half. Had nothing really going for him. Last 10 minutes, Mbappe scores twice. And he scores twice in the span of roughly 90 seconds to draw it level. Absolutely impressive, incredible from a 23-year-old in his second World Cup. But we'll keep going. Extra time. First half, not much gets going. Second half, boom. Messi taps it in. Everyone at that point thinking, oh man, Argentina, Messi has won the World Cup for them. But no, Kylian Mbappe once again equalizes it for France and then sends it to penalties where he scores his, Messi scores his, and then it kind of comes down to that battle of who's going to get the save first, Emiliano Martinez for Argentina or Hugo Lloris for France. And sure enough, it was Martinez for Argentina, saved a pair and... Really, that was all she wrote. Argentina won the penalty shootout 4-2 to two to lift their third ever World Cup trophy. And they're just the joy on Messi's face. It's hard not to be happy for him in this case. The only thing he really hadn't won was this World Cup trophy, but he has now. So with that being said, that concludes the coverage of this 2022 World Cup. World Cup is now over. All our eyes turn to 2026 when the World Cup will be here in the U.S., along with Canada and Mexico. So until then, see you next time.